Okay. <laughs> and Merry Christmas. I wanted to give you guys a little gift and so I'm going to take you through my whole process. I've been videoing for a couple weeks putting together this piece of artwork and I wanted to share a bit of my process with you so that you could kind of come along the journey with me and see. So this is me in the future and then you will find uh, bits of me in the past kind of putting together the project to come to the final result which is this picture right here. My main inspiration for this picture comes from an artist named William Morris. William was mainly a textile designer. I've been like pinning a lot of his stuff on Pinterest without even realizing that it was like by the same artist and so when I actually went to like dig in and do a bit of research um, on him and his artwork and his life, I realized that I've actually been like drawn to a lot of his artwork anyways. And so I wanted to create this piece to kind of be like a memento to him. I was thinking about like how I wanted to portray Saint Nick and it, you know it's like we hear about like oh he's a jolly fellow he's like happy-go-lucky kind of a thing but we never get into like this really like sentimental side of him so I wanted to draw this picture in a way where Saint Nick is leaning down and he's like looking at the fox and he's got a bit of curiosity in his eye and we're really capturing that um, sentimental aspect of him. And so the fox character is actually based on Minecraft. Well, that was like the original thought of it. They have the arctic fox there and the foxes always eat the berries. And so if you look closely, you'll see that he's got a little branch of berries in his mouth, which is really fun. And it actually turns out that foxes in real life do like berries, obviously, because that's how they would design the game. Anyways, okay. So I'm excited to take you along this process with how I go, you know, from like concept and idea to actually bringing it into uh, the world, you know, it's like that birthing, birthing process um, of artwork. So uh, let's get started.
guys for coming along this journey with me. If you want to purchase this piece of artwork, you can go over to my website. It will be in the link in the description. You can purchase the greeting cards, the gift tags, or the picture itself in the 5x7 size or the 8x10 size. If you have a shop and you want to put my artwork in your shop, I would love to sell it to you, you know, for a wholesale price, for a discounted price. Also on my website, you can find my winter wholesale catalog. That catalog will be available for December, January, and February. And then in March, I will update it again with um, the spring art prints that I have coming up. So that's super exciting. If you want to follow me on the creation of these spring art prints, a great way to do that is through my Instagram, um, which captures more of like the day-to-day -day life of putting these um, pieces together. Uh, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll probably make another video talking about, um, you know, my up and coming piece. And then, um, or you can uh, sign up for my newsletter uh, which you can do that through my website as well. And I only send out four newsletters a year, you know, winter, fall, spring, summer. Um, basically around the same time that I update the wholesale catalog, just giving you an update of like what I've been up to and what I'm creating and like how life is going. So if you would like to follow me through any of those resources, go ahead and do that. I would love to connect with you and to be able to hear from you. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. I will see you again next time and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye! <music>